Luca, what are you doing here? Do not tell me you have come to defeat Velkuvrana. Madame please stop! You are not even ten years old, child. Yet here you stand to confront one who has lived for a millennium. No matter. You have the Tractatus de Monstrum, yes? <gasps> now then, before I finish merging, I would like it to record what I'm about to say. <laughs> Consider this a final act of kindness before I fully abandon my humanity. Now, Tractatus de Monstrum, listen carefully. The purpose of the labyrinth of refrain is to act as an egg which encases a being known as Velkuvrana. With each world acting as a layer in that egg, it could grow without interference from people or witches. However, it died before it could hatch. Velkuvrana is not a flesh and blood creature. It can be revived, but to do so requires a physical body to act as a medium. Thankfully, there was a witch at the Magic Academy who had the spiritual potential to become that medium. You... you mean... Mama? Yes, Isara. However, she was too weak. But you, Luca, inherited your mother's power. So I was prepared to use you as the medium and revive Velkuvrana so that it could have. But I am pleased Isara's body could be salvaged after all. Yes, I merely used you and Dronia to carry out my bidding. But... but... Trakti has free will! Trakti isn't... <laughs> How precious. Free will, you say? The Tractatus de Monstrum. Written by the one man to escape the labyrinth of refrain. You did not know that was a made-up story? It was me. I authored that book. I never intended for a soul to reside in it, though. How clever. I... I don't understand, Madam Baba. I don't understand why you're doing this! <laughs> Do not worry. I shall explain everything. I hail from another world. One of many that have been destroyed by Valkuvrana's wrath. I have traveled across many worlds, each time possessing a new form. During my travels, I discovered the truth of Valkuvrana. As an immortal being, Velkuvrana cannot truly be defeated, but its immortality can be harnessed. But, but then, why didn't you use the three keys as soon as you had them? If you had done that, then... Unfortunately, you stupid child, this is the first time all three keys have been assembled. I could not risk losing a single key, not with immortality at stake. With each key I found, I made sure to hide it well. Two of the keys I entrusted to residents of other worlds. And then, when I found the last key in Campanula, I encountered a bothersome great sage who tried to interfere. In a moment of weakness, I was injured. So, I hid the key near the entrance and fled to Tanis. But I was in no hurry, for I was certain 
that none but I could assemble all three keys. I created antechambers to link the different worlds, and the Tractatus de Monstrum was the key I created to travel between them. Do you realize what that means? The Tractatus de Monstrum itself is the key to locating the three keys I desired. Uh, then... why did you connect worlds that didn't have a key? Was that on purpose? Did you mess up? <laughs> what does it matter? It is not my responsibility to safeguard other worlds. Such concerns are beneath me. That's awful. You're terrible! <laughs> you are not even ten years old. Do not presume to lecture me, child. But... Madam Baba... No. You're someone else. You're just possessing Madam Baba, aren't you? Yes. But that was my biggest mistake. My plan fell to ruin after I was injured by the Great Sage and fled Campanula to hide in Thanis. Taking possession of this Baba Yagavich was the start of a long period of stagnation. Furthermore, the mana in this world, Thanis, is too thin. As a result, I could not use this body to return. From there, you know the rest. Now that I have said all that needs to be said, I will consume you, the Tractatus de Monstrum, and... Hmm? Where did that owl wander off to? I have not forgotten the denizens of Yggdrasil. Those intrusive owls who fly between the boundaries of time and space. Their power posed a threat to my plan, so I destroyed their world. Now they are but a footnote in my rise to power. <gasps> but enough talk. Once Velkuvrana reaches maturity, I will merge with its eternal body and soul and devour all of existence. You understand, yes? You, Dronya and Isara, were just pawns in my long struggle. Yes, just disposable little pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Please wait, Madam Baba. I'm sure you didn't feel this way when you started your journey. I have forgotten the past, and I will never remember it again. Now, I will seize my destiny, and I will not allow you or the Tractatus de Monstrum to stop me! Ready or not? Thank you! <laughs> Leave it to me! I'm, I'm sorry, are you getting handsy with me? Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, 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 oh my! Wonderful! Yes! Huh? Yes! Follow me! Take that! There! Naughty, naughty! Naughty, naughty! Huh. I know. The tour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Th thank you, but don't... 
Don't touch me. <laughs> Leave it to me. Thanks. Thanks. I, I, I just feel... <laughs> I feel the power. Wonderful. Naughty, naughty. No, not here I go. You can praise me now. What? No, it can't be. Velkovrana, the Great Devourer. Defeated by a little girl and her dolls? Ah, Luca, what have you done? Have you forgotten who raised you, child? How could you do this to me? I waited one thousand years for this. Elkurana, immortality, life eternal. It's crumbling around me. Ah, yes, Lucas body. <laughs> You mocked my swordsmanship, Baba Yaga. Now die by my blade! At last, I have avenged my people! Melody! Die? No, I don't want to die. I'm going to live forever! Forever! I threw everything away! And for what? For what? We'll wait here, just in case you need our help coming back. I'll wait as long as it takes, Luca. So go, get Dronia and come back to us. Thanks, Neldi! It's okay! I'll definitely come back! Luca, my child, the keys cannot be used more than once. This will likely be the last time. Thank you, Marietta. I understand. <laughs> I'm back, Madam Junia. I came back for you. <sighs> I knew you and Tracti could do it. You sure kept me waiting, though. Tracti, I just want to say, you were a huge help to us. Luca and I couldn't have made it this far without you. Thank you. Let's go home, Madame Dronia! Luca, you idiot! Wait! Uh! Don't get a big head just because you defeated Baba and Velkuvrana. I go first, not you. M Mimi! I came all this way to help you! I won't put up with this, Madame Dronia! Hm. Just shut up and follow me. This is a precautionary measure. We don't know if a living human can survive looking back in this place. If you turn around, you could die. Or worse, be erased from existence. It's an ancient trial. The final test. 
I've heard that the souls of the dead will do everything in their power to make you look back. But... but... it's okay. I'll be fine. <sighs> Where do you get your confidence? A little idiot like you will probably look back and not think twice about it. <laughs> everyone fails this trial, huh? Well, I'm not like everyone else. Anyway, just keep your eyes on my back, Luca. <sighs> okay, I've got your back. Just leave it to me. And if you scream, I won't be able to help you. You'll just die without me. Now, let's go home. Luca, are you following me? Yes. My daughter won't stop asking about you. I think I mentioned that in my last letter. No, maybe the one before. She really is nothing like me. Everyone says that. But I can tell how beautiful she is, just by touching her. I know she'll surprise you when you finally meet her. Also, I've been telling her to call you Auntie Velnia. <laughs> Luca, I'd like you to meet. Well, I know you, I know you. Auntie Belnia, you're my Auntie Belnia, aren't you? Mama told me about you. Hey, don't hug me. I apologize. My wife told her stories about you every night. She idolizes you. Auntie Belnia is Mama's friend. Her best friend! <sighs> Are you there, Luca? Did you scream just now? No, uh, I'm okay! I'm... hearing things. I guess anything goes here, eh? <laughs> but that's well within my expectations. Why do I have to look after this brat? I hate kids. Um, um, first draw the circle, then cast the spell. You can't even cast a simple spell. Are you sure you're Isara's kid? <laughs> hey, don't cry. Have courage! Isara knew what it meant to have courage. She had the courage to face those stronger than her, and the courage to face her fate. That's right. You were the real hero, Isara. Not me. I won't cry! I won't cry anymore, Auntie Velnia! Why, you... Okay, stop calling me Auntie. I mean, I'm young enough to be your sister. Fine, maybe not your sister, but still. I've been wondering, how come you refuse to overcome your disability? Huh? What's the point? It's not like my foot's gonna grow back. True, but is that why you won't try? Because it won't heal? 
You won't try your hardest because you can't win? Is that it? What are you lecturing me for? Everyone acts that way. Sorry we can't all be optimists like you. Hmm. Training your soul is nobody's business but your own. Everyone polishes their soul to put on display before they die. Your skill, your character, your fate, it's all part of training your soul. Are you starting a cult or something? <laughs> Besides, there's no point in displaying your soul if nobody's looking. Oh, but someone's always looking. The one person who matters most. Do you understand, Velnia? That's why people live. So stop resenting your lot in life. You're the only one who can see your soul, and you'll get to see it just before you die. And the meaning of life is whatever you're thinking about in that final moment. <laughs> As if I could see my own soul. What about you, then? Me? <laughs> Do I look like I polish my soul? I just want to enjoy every moment while I still can. And be surrounded by my favorite white roses. But, Velnia, I want you to be the one to close the lid to my coffin, okay? <sighs> hey, Luca. Is my back on fire? Nope, it's not on fire. Your back is beautiful. Beautiful. This is Fiona. I had Isara create her. Think of her as an extension of myself. Now that Isara is dead, she will form a new contract with you. Understood? Madam... No. Lady Luca, I look forward to serving you. You're so cool, Auntie Velnia! You're so tall, and your hair is so long! Will I grow tall too? Will I? I hope my hair gets long like yours. I don't know about that. Your hair is curly. I... I can't have long hair like you. Don't worry. I used to have short hair too. And... I don't know if your mother told you this, but... You have her curly hair. Medanilla? He's actually a pretty nice guy. He's more like my servant than my husband, but otherwise being his wife isn't so bad. He filled the garden with white roses in case my vision returns. He's a funny man. I'm sure they bloomed lovely this year. Still... I want to see you again, Velnia. There's so much I want to tell you. Luca, I started to remember many things about you. L like what? I remember that you still wet your bed. Ah! <laughs> I'm kidding. These memories are Velnia's. Uh, uh, really? Yes. Really. show you something. <laughs> wow! This place is amazing! 
Your mother never brought you here? Nuh-uh! I never knew about this place! This was our secret place. Just... me... and Isara. Mama and Auntie. Luca, I brought you here because... I have to return to the royal court tomorrow. I wanted to show you this place before I left. What? Luca, can you see the exit? Not yet. Madame Dronia, are your eyes okay? Can't you see? Don't worry. That's why I'm walking in front of you. Also, I hear you shout every time you're about to trip and fall. Be a little quieter. Say the opposite of what you really mean. Is there something on my back? What is this beast? N nothing's there. You're okay. You're okay. God can fully transfer another person's memories. Now proceed just like we practiced, Luca, lest you confuse the poor thing even further. Hey, Luca. When we get out of here, let's go back to your hometown. <gasps> oh, okay! We'll need to clean that room. I bet it's really dusty. I'll do it! Leave the cleaning to me! Your magical aptitude is extraordinary. Truly, you are your mother's daughter. But putting a soul into a puppet is not a true resurrection. Like a wind-up toy, she will eventually stop moving one day. So you can't revive her? It's impossible? Well... There is one place where it may be possible. A place known as the Viewing Chamber. Where? I want to go there! Then I can... I do not know where it is. 
Your mother was conducting secret research on its location, but she left no notes behind. All I know is that the viewing chamber is not of this world. To access it, you must gather keys that are spread throughout different worlds. It is the doorway to the realm of the dead. The living have no business there. The, the realm of the dead? That is why you must stay by Dronya's side. If you do not want your precious Velnia to fade away, that is. Luca, can you see the exit? I can see it! I can see it! We're almost there, Madame Tronia! A couple more steps! You can do it! The surface!
you will disappear. Luca, I want to ask you something. Oh, okay. If... If I'm revived as Velnia, what will happen to my memories as Dronia? I... I... don't know. Really, I don't know. I see. My memories will fade away if I'm revived, won't they? So I need to say this to you right now, while I still have the chance. Why? Why? I'm sorry, Luca, for everything I put you through. I really did want to live with you after we finished here. Dusk is just the darkness between day and night. But now the moonlight has come, and my brief life has finally reached its end. This is goodbye. But I have no regrets. Thank you, Luca. We will always be family. Now go, Mezaluka. Walk forward, and do not look back. M Madame Tronia, you remembered my real name. Luca! You're all right! I'm so... so relieved. Luca! Yes, but... Adam Tronia is gone. Oh... I see. I am... not... gonna cry. Baba's magic is fading from the Tractatus de Monstrum. I suppose its job is done. T Tracti! <laughs> what? What happened? The town! Oh, Newton. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to find it. And now, your powers are... Wait! I know about Newt's memories, Neldy. I know... everything. Uh, everything? Uh-huh. Luca... Very well, then.
Thy role is finished. Now awaken thine sealed memories, where evil fears to tread, and reclaim thine days gone by. is the Tractatus de Monstrum. Now, Soul Witch Mezaluka, you must return this soul from whence it came. Wait! Before I do that, Tracti, thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Please, help Mezaluka. She's me, but she's also not me. <laughs> no matter what you say, I'm gonna stay positive. That's what makes me look... I'm always positive, no matter what. <laughs> Send this soul to the future! A future of darkness and terror, where wicked souls run rampant! There, you will be the light of hope!